had a few questions I wanted to ask the panel relative to the waste issue, because I think the waste issue really is one that we need to move to some point of resolution if, if uh, nuclear power is going to have a better opportunity. Uh, during the debate in Congress over the last few years on uh, moving waste to uh, Yucca Mountain, a number of members of Congress would get up during the debate and they'd say, gee, I've got all these nuclear power plants right in my backyard and I want to get this waste away. We've got millions of people living next door to this. Is it not true that as long as there's an operating power plant, there will be waste on site even if you had an off-site storage disposal site someplace else and there would be a reasonable amount of waste there that has to stay there for a few years before it can be moved? Is that a fair statement? I, I can answer that, Mr. Chairman. Um, by design, once the reactor fuel is removed from the core itself, it is placed into wet storage and that is to accommodate the, um, the heat load that is right. still present then. But ideally, the original design of the plants was that once that time had expired, that it would be moved to dry cast storage, Understood. not for on-site storage, but rather to the ultimate repository. So um, if the repository were available, there would be a, a very short period of time while the fuel is in wet storage. Um, but I would also add that while it was not the plan, having the dry cast storage on these facilities does not pose an undue risk. It's just outside of what the original vision was. I'm glad to hear that because that leads to my next line of questioning. But I wanted to first of all address that I think a number of members of Congress have inappropriately assumed that they wouldn't have nuclear waste in their backyard with an operating power plant. They will. They will, whether Yucca Mountain happens or not. It may not be the same amount of volume, but it will be there. Secondly, you mentioned that the benefit of going to dry cast storage. And back in 1982, I think, when Congress passed the Nuclear Waste Policy Act, I don't think dry cast storage was necessarily on the table at that point. That's where technology has taken us now. Um, what do people think about the opportunity in terms of trying to resolve this complicated issue um, of, of looking at interim on-site storage, where we, we put the waste in dry cast storage, we leave it on site, the government takes title to the waste, that may address some of the concerns of the power plant owners. And from a cost basis and from an effort at trying to bring some medium-term resolution to this issue, <clears throat> it's not the million-year resolution, but maybe it's a hundred-year resolution, how does the panel react to that type of proposal to try to move beyond the dynamic we're in now in terms of waste storage? I'd ask anybody on the panel. Yeah, and, and I would offer right now the, the industry, as well as with the Department of Energy, is considering a number of alternatives included. I believe what you're suggesting is interim storage, not right. necessarily at the site at which it was generated, but perhaps multiple but more centralized dry cast storage facilities. Um, also revisiting the idea of closing the fuel cycle. And I think contrary to Dr. Cochran, what the, the intent of it is, is to develop the process by which you would not increase proliferation risks. So this interim storage would therefore avail the fuel for future reprocessing, just as was said earlier, to extract from it the, the energy that still remains in it. So I think all of those, whether it be the interim on-site storage, the more centralized dry cast storage, the reprocessing, but ultimately there will be a byproduct that's needed for Yucca Understood. Mountain. Uh, but but in, in much lower volume and also a much significantly lower heat load. Well, this line of questioning is motivated, and I want to hear from some other folks on the panel, but this line of questioning is motivated. I've introduced legislation that calls for interim on-site storage and, and federal government taking title of the waste. And I think it represents at least some level of looking at a practical step forward on this issue as opposed to where we've been with substantial amounts of money being spent on Yucca, questions about the scientific analysis, time is dragging on. We haven't met deadlines. We've spent a lot of money. And I think that there may very well be both an economic argument and a practical argument in terms of making progress on this issue as a medium-term solution that we look at interim on-site storage with federal government taking title with dry cast. Do other people have a reaction to that? Uh, Congressman, what, what you're doing is asking what I think is a very good question, and that is let's ask ourselves what's the safest and smartest thing to do with this stuff for the next hundred years while we figure out what the safest and smartest very long term. I would just add, uh, from my perspective uh, within the financial community, I think from investors, particularly as, as I've talked to them about 
potential commitments for new nuclear power plants, the waste issue virtually always comes up. Right. Uh, the, the NRC has always been able to determine that on-site storage or extended dry cask storage does not pose a safety hazard or a safety ri risk. There is a cost associated with it that would need to be dealt with, but I suspect that from an investor perspective and, and probably from the perspective of, of the companies themselves within the industry, some movement or progress toward an extended storage solution will be necessary before you see uh, large-scale new plant commitments because people will want to know what's going to be do done with the, uh, with the waste. That's also probably true from the standpoint of state rate regulators, right. economic regulators as well. Uh, they're probably just as upset uh, about the, uh, the delays and the problems and, and waste disposal as the, uh, as the utilities are uh, as well. So if, if Yucca Mountain is not going to move forward, some alternative that would provide uh, an extended storage solution for the, uh, for the waste probably is necessary before we see uh, substantial new plant commitments. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. I would just offer again, I think it may be a more cost-effective method too, and if I can just add one point, a lot of people are still questioning the transportation risk of moving all this waste to, to Yucca Mountain. Uh, the interim on-site storage bill would address that problem as well. Mr. Chairman, I'll yield back. Thank you, Mr. Matheson. I, I think that we could have a very interesting hearing just on, on this topic, and thanks for raising it.